So, with the release of the M3 series of chipsets, when will the likes of the MacBook Air get the M3 chipset inside of it? Will it be in the summer of 2024 or will it be later on? Well, today, let's discuss this in this MacBook Air M3 release date and price video. Now, just before I get started, I just want to quickly mention here that obviously, if you haven't worked out already i'm from the uk great britain and i'm english and obviously the way how we say certain words might be different to the way other people say it in different parts of the world so for example the word air we say air whereas for example in other parts of the world you might say air for example the point is the english language is spoken in different parts of the world and different pronunciations of words sound different to everybody but this is the way how i say it and this is the way how the english say it here in Great Britain or the UK. So after getting that out of the way, today I want to cover what the new MacBook Air M3 will do for us with giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the MacBook Air 2023 release date and price. But let's get started where we are with the MacBook Air. So within the last two years, we've had a brand new design, 13 inch MacBook Air, and just this year at WWDC 2023, we got introduced to the larger brother, MacBook Air with a 15 inch display. Both these MacBooks have big changes with a new design, a new color, MagSafe 3, and of course the M2 chipset, what's got around about 20-30% more power than the current M1 chipset. Both MacBook Airs are the only MacBooks to have no fan inside to give you a complete silent experience. Now, with this MacBook Air getting the M3 chipset inside of it, we're expecting some new changes happening in 2024. And to be deadly honest, this is most likely going to be happening to both sizes of the MacBook because by the time the release happens, it will definitely be a year after since the 15 inch MacBook Air has come out. So, as we know now with the M3 chipset, what's come out in the likes of the iMac and also in the MacBook Pro 14 inch, we got some great significant improvements with the M3 over the M2 and even the M1 chipset. And it's probably going to say this that most likely, if you're still on an Intel MacBook Air right now, upgrading to this new M3 model is definitely going to be worth a worthy upgrade. But if you're still staying on an M1 or M2, maybe you don't need to upgrade just yet. And if you did want to upgrade, Grade, maybe a pro line or a max line of the m3 series might be better for you but one of the major things that possibly is going to happen with the new macbook air is definitely that there's going to be probably some sort of new cooling system inside of the chassis at the end of the day we've already seen that there's been some thermal problems with the m2 chipset and the m3 is definitely hotter than the m2 so it looks like apple are going to have to resolve this with some changes inside both the designs of the macbooks this also leads me on nice you to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they could come true with the next generation of the MacBook Air. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook Air anyway. So, release date. By fall or autumn of 2023, the MacBook Air M2 will be coming near to 18 months old. When the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had been out for about 18 months. But it looks like that Apple's strategy has completely changed now with the releases for this model. It looks like now Apple's strategy is to put the M3 inside Pro MacBook models first before putting them in any other MacBook range of models. However, most likely the update to the MacBook Air is probably not going to be coming to at least WWDC 2024, even into the autumn or fall of 2024. It looks like here, according to Mark Gurman, that this is when this is going to be updated. And to be deadly honest, this is probably going to make sense. Apple are probably going to be adjusting their sort of strategy that they're going to make their pro lines have the top range chipsets inside of them and the air chipsets to be like the last year's models very similar to what we have right now with the iphone 15 and the 15 plus and then we have the same with the iphone 15 pro and the iphone 15 pro max having the latest chip inside of it and it looks like like i said this is going to be applied and this is going to be the new strategy going forwards so don't expect a new macbook air to at least wwdc 2000 and 24.
I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now. And it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get some notification of when that is actually happening. Because to be honest, December is not that far away. And I will just quickly say, guys, sadly, there are still spammers and scammers out there. Some of them still impersonating myself, telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping on this international gift giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and i'll be paying for taxes and things like that too so you don't need to worry about any of that at all but if you do see any of these scammers or anything please do report them as you can see right here so next of all let's do a summary of both of the macbook airs and what it's going to be offering us when we get the m3 chipset inside of it so obviously what we're going to have is we have the two models now we've got the 13.6 inch model and this is an led retina display at 2560 by 1600 and that will stay the same and the same with the 15.3 inch it'll be led retina at 2880 by 1864 do not expect a pro motion display in a non-pro macbook it's just not going to happen but for storage amounts we're going to get 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes like we have right now with the m2 series but we will get that new m3 chipset that will have an eight core cpu and there'll be a choice of an eight or ten core gpu inside of it just like what we have right now for the m3 it will start again at eight gigabytes of ram and you can configure it all the way up to 24 gigabytes of ram um, personally i I would pick the 16 but the actual body would be made out of an aluminum sort of body or aluminium body you'll get magsafe you'll get two usb-c ports that are thunderbolt 4 ports as per usual and the colors will stay the same with midnight space gray silver and also that in starlight too there also will be still that center stage webcam at the top and the notch and battery life for both the models will be up to 19 hours but the baseline price then starting out with the 8 gigabytes of ram for the 13.6 inch model with 256 gigabytes of storage will start at 1099 us dollars whereas if you got this for the 15.3 inch model it will cost you 1399 us dollars so that is a summary of the new macbook air m3 but my wishes for the macbook air I want to talk about those now, and that is to do with thermals. So as much as Apple have made the MacBook Air to have no fan inside of it, and we had this with the M1 and the M2, something tells me that with the M3, the chipset is going to get even hotter than those two previous chipsets. So for this, I would actually like to see a return of the fan back inside the MacBook Air, and for it to only kick in when it really needs to. So say when you're exporting a 30 minute 4k video then three or four minutes into that export the fan would kick in just to help with any kind of throttling issues however those are my thoughts and do you agree with them do you think that the macbook air should remain fanless also share with me what your thoughts are for the m3 macbook air 2 well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure that you press the like button at the same time if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell until next time guys i will see you soon bye bye